love this farm. My folks bought it in 71. And, you know, I think many times we think that the land stays the same. It, it doesn't change. And yet, yet that's not true. Like, take this, this fence row right here. If you look at it, the, the, the brush and the trees are encroaching into the field. They're growing into the field, and if you don't keep trimming them back, they, they would take over the field. And so what we kind of learned from that is that the plants keep growing. They, they have to keep growing, and they're reaching for the light, and they're reaching for nutrients out of the soil. And if you have a... a, a a tree that's dying, say there's a tree over there in the distance that's, that's dead, once a tree stops growing, it's, it starts dying. And I think people are the same way. People need to keep growing to be alive. They need to, they need to keep stretching out and reaching for the light and sinking, sinking their roots into something. And, 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 it, and that kind of describes our relationship with God. Is, I do believe that God is constant. But God is not of this world, He created the world. And so, in our relationship with God, we need to keep growing. We need to keep reaching for the light. We need to be sinking our roots into the soil. Last week I talked about alfalfa, how alfalfa sinks its roots down deep into the soil to get moisture and nutrients. And, and I think our relationship with God is much the same way. That we need to constantly be reaching, constantly be growing. us that true peace, that true hope that, that helps sustain us and, and gives us something that we can't get from this world. And that, that I think is so important for us to learn that, and we, we can learn that from nature. Hello, I'm your neighbor Jerry, I'm pastor at Calmo Church, and have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and bye for now. Do you dare to grow? You know, that might seem like a funny question, but you know, growth requires change, and sometimes to change is hard. Now, we can grow in many ways, and today we're, we're wrapping up a series about God, and the question we're asking about is, you know, what does God have to do with daring to grow? You know, we see things around us are growing, and they're green, and they're alive, and they're well, but you know, things that aren't growing are either dying or dead. You think about that when you see plants or like dead trees or something, but that also includes people. So in just a minute, our uh, message this morning, we'll dig into that question. Do you dare to grow? And growing in our love of God is just one way that we live into our core value of loving God and sharing the good news. Well, hello and welcome from Calamo. Hi. I'm Pastor Jerry and this is my wife, Sandy, and we're so glad to be with you this day. If this is during the premiere time, throw a hi in the chat box so we can say hi back. Or if this is at another time, you can always call or text me at 517-588-8415. We have a prayer team standing by at prayer team, one word, at calmochurch.org. A special hi to anybody that might be joining us for the first time. If you've got any questions, reach out, let us know. We'd love to answer you any questions you might have. And we'd like to pray for any new folks or anybody, anybody that has any prayer concerns or they need a little boost or they're just kind of down in the dumps, let us know. Again, we have a prayer team standing by or you can always fill out a Calmo connection card at calmochurch.org forward slash connect dash with dash Calamo. And now let us have a moment of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you so much for this time together, virtually wherever we might be. And so we, we thank you for that gathering. And Lord, we pray that you reveal the awesome power and presence of the Holy Spirit so that we all might feel the warmth of your love in our hearts and we might see the light of your truth. We pray all these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Our message is going to start in about five minutes, so take a minute and grab a cup of coffee or a snack or whatever, and now let's sing. Mansion over hilltop. <laughs> Thank you. 
message. Do you dare to grow? You know, that might seem like a funny question, but growth requires change, and sometimes change can be hard. Today we're wrapping up a series about God, and, and the question we're talking about today is, what does God have to do with daring to grow? I mean, you know, growing is a natural part of living. When we see things around us, things that are growing, they're green, they're growing new branches or, or shoots or leaves. You know, in an earlier video today, I talked about trees and brush kind of growing into the field, how they, they keep reaching for sunlight and growing and, and, and encroaching in the field. Well, nature's always changing, growing one way or another. And we people are, are kind of the same way. When we're growing, we're changing. We're, we're growing in new ways, we're changing in new ways. Whether it be skills or experience, you know, some of us are growing around the middles and we, we kind of wish we weren't, right? But seriously, sometimes people stop growing and, and, and then they, maybe they, they get tired or depressed or, or they don't want to change. And so let's pause for just a moment and consider these discussion questions. Are you still growing? Or does, maybe does change make you feel uncomfortable? In what ways are you growing? And when you do grow, do you feel good when you've reached a new level in, in, in something or another? You know, people are different from trees and plants by the fact that we have an intellect. We, 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 have, a, we have a brain. You know, we talked a few weeks ago about curiosity. Well, people can choose to be curious, to investigate, to ask questions. And we also talked about our core values, right? The principles that we use to guide our decisions and actions. Have you thought about the different kinds of growth? You know, I like to look at nature because it's all around us. It's one thing I really enjoy about living in the, in the Calamo area. But if you consider the different kinds of growth, the changes we see in nature and in our physical beings is one kind of change. Another kind of change is in our spiritual lives. You know, our natural selves, our bodies, are, are, are limited by our lifespan. And we live in a world that we can't control. Just think about the weather. We had a drought uh, for a long time, and, and now we're in a, a stretch where we're gonna have rain for about a week. We have no control over that. Um, the violence that's happening in our world. How about the buildings collapsing of all things? You know, we are literally blown around by the winds of fate in, in our world. Now, our spiritual lives let us sink our inner selves into something bigger than we are, something stronger, something more constant than what we see in this world around us, something that we can really lock onto. Well, the center of our spiritual lives is God. Now, we can see God as God the Father, as God the Son, that, which would be Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Advocate or the Holy Spirit. And one way to think about a relationship with God is to compare it to a marriage or perhaps a special relationship with another person, a, a sister or, or mom or, or whatever. And so let's pause for just a moment and consider these discussion questions. How do you compare growth in nature to your spiritual growth? What do you think about sinking, sinking your roots into God? And do you see any similarities between growth in a human relationship and growth with God? I know that I've really grown in my relationship with God. And in my mind, it helps me to think of God in the three ways. Now, this isn't a, a theological point of view. This is, this is just kind of how I kind of think about it. I kind of think of God the Father as being this awesome, loving being that's master of all, a being that has all the answers. 
And we hear about the incredible nature of God the Father in the creation story in Genesis chapter 1. And then I see Jesus as kind of like a special friend, one that's far greater than I, but for some strange reason wants to be my friend. Jesus is every bit as great as God the Father, but he comes down to my level. In Revelation 3.20, we hear about the fact that Jesus knocks on our door. And when we let him in, he wants to have dinner with us. You know, having dinner with someone is, is, a, is really a special time or a special relationship with them. Well, Jesus loves us with a passion that, quite frankly, we just can't understand. Hear these words. Come from Romans chapter 8. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? For I am convinced, now this is Paul talking, I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, you kind of get the idea that nothing, anything else in nature, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Paul is describing this incredibly sticky love, if you will, a, a love that we just can't shake off, you know, like it get a piece of something on your hand and you shake it and it won't come off. Well, for me, I find those words incredibly reassuring because it means that Satan can't pull me away from Jesus. It, it means that the troubles of this world can't pull me away from Jesus. All I have to do is open the door to my heart. And then Jesus sends us the gift of the Holy Advocate, the Holy Spirit. I think the Holy Advocate is probably more helpful because here we have this mysterious part of God that's with us always, that's in good times and bad, the, this, this part of God or this aspect of God that is constantly with us. And you know, I know that the Holy Advocate is real because I feel him in my heart. Every once in a while I feel this strange tingling sensation. I can't explain. I have found that there's two very special kinds of blessings that, that I get when I've sink my roots deep into the love of Jesus. One is that gift of peace in a heart that passes all human understanding. Just somehow, yeah, I, I, a week or two ago I described it as like a cold drink of water on a hot day. It's just a feeling that goes through us that things will be okay. <clears throat> and if that's not enough, he gives us a hope that is out of this world, a hope that means that we don't have to worry about the future, that God will take care of us no matter what happens. So let's take just a moment and consider these discussion questions. Do you feel that you have a living relationship with God? And then what is it like? How would you describe it? And then have you considered in what ways your relationship with God might grow? Might be a living, changing thing? And do you have questions? Well, our closing question today is, do you dare to grow? to wrestle with God, to ask those tough questions. Are you willing to train like an athlete and grow? Not muscles of flesh, but muscles of spirit. And to grow in your relationship with God? Well, let us pause for just a moment and just consider that question. Do you dare to grow? I've shared some thoughts about growth, how we can look to nature to better understand our relationship with God. What do you think? Are you searching? Are you struggling? Would you be willing to build up your spiritual strength to be a beacon of peace and hope for others? I'd like to hear your thoughts. If this is during the premiere time, you can throw a note in the chat box. You can call or text me at 517-588-8415 or an email or even our Calmo connection card at calamochurch.org forward slash connect dash with dash calamo. Maybe you'd like to talk about growth or this having a living relationship with God. Let's talk. I'd love to explore this topic with you. 
Or maybe you have a friend or, or you know someone that's struggling. Well, share this message with them. Suggest that they reach out because I'd like, love to talk with them as well. And then we can explore together how God loves us so much and is just waiting to help us live into a relationship filled with peace and hope. How he sustains us in a troubled and broken world and helps us to make a difference in the world around us. And now for our Pentecost challenge. Spend five minutes, just five minutes or at least five minutes in prayer each day and talk with God. Tell him that you want to be fully alive and to grow, to grow deep roots into God's love and then build that intimate relationship with God that leads to that incredible peace and joy in our hearts and hope for the future. Take a moment, relax, and reflect about your next step in that growth process. But all in all, talk with God often. And folks, post a reminder. We need to talk with God often. Post a uh, reminder wherever it might make sense for you so that if you're like me, you say, ah, oh, I forgot. And just sit down right there on the spot. And even if it's not five minutes, take, the, take that, those few moments and talk to God about building in your relationship. And I pray that the awesome love of care of God the Father, Jesus our Lord and Savior, and the power of the Holy Spirit help you grow in relationship with Jesus Christ and help you grow in peace and hope that passes all human understanding. So we are able to stand up with confidence in a lost and troubled world. Amen. Check us out next week as we enjoy a guest speaker. God is great. Amen. And now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for being such a loving God and desiring that intimate, growing, alive relationship where we are living into a deeper relationship with you. We thank you so much for that, Lord, and we pray that you take my words and transform them so that each one of us hears that special message that you have just for each one of us. We pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. And friends, feel the awesome power and presence of the Holy Spirit this day as we are forgiven and adopted as God's holy children. God gives us that everlasting boost that we sometimes need to get back on track to grow with curiosity and wisdom and peace and hope. Open your heart and feel the warmth and blessings of His love. Amen and amen. Bye for now. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. And now we have a time of prayer. And it, prayer is a time when we can open our hearts up to God and, and just talk with God and be honest with God. And so let us first thank God for all the blessings that he's giving, uh, given us. Let's remember to pray for those around us, whether it's in our country, our world, our community. Our leaders especially need our prayers, whether they whether we agree with them or not, we, they, they still need our prayers. Um, this new COVID variant and how it's uh, attacking the, the younger people, we, we need to lift up this situation. And, and I'm a supporter of the vaccine. I believe in it. And so I'm going to pray that, that younger folks become more, uh, more uh, acceptable to getting their vaccine so that this new variant doesn't kind of wipe out our, our younger folks or, or uh, damage, hurt, hurt our younger folks. I think we need to continue to keep lifting up uh, places like India and South America uh, in, our, in our prayers. And there's other countries, those are just a couple of the ones that we hear about the most, where they don't have the vaccines, they don't have the health care, and, and people are really suffering in a major way. I think we need to continue to pray for help from God to hear his voice in the midst of our hectic lives. We, we need to hear that voice of calm and, and reassurance in our lives. We ask that you, you pray for our online church, our online ministries, so that we can be more than just a worship service, but we can be a blessing, a ray of sunshine to those that, that perhaps are unable to come into a physical church or perhaps they, they prefer not to for whatever reason. And for us to be 
those people or the you know that church that online church for folk those folks we, we need prayer we need we need we need your support and then I think we need to pray to God to to give us strength and hope to be able to dare to grow we need to grow to be fully alive and then we can be beacons of God's love to those around us and so now let us pray dear Heavenly Father we thank you so much for being such a loving a loving God a loving father if you will and, and Lord We've, we've lifted up some, some concerns, some things we'd like to pray for, some things that we feel like need your, your hand on them, whether it be uh, people that we know in our midst or around us that have health concerns, and we know several of those, Lord, um, or the, the, this COVID situation, our leaders. There's just a lot of things that need prayer right now, Lord, and so we lift up all those things to to you so that you might wrap your awesome arms of compassion around them. And at the same time, Lord, we praise you for all the blessings, the, the beautiful sunshine, the, the rain we've been getting lately is a, is a huge blessing. And Lord, we thank you for all those, those blessings. And now, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. This week at Calamo, what's happening this week at Calamo? The first thing that's happening is let us pray for you. You got something on your heart, on your mind, you're feeling down in the dumps. If this is during the premiere time, you can throw a note in the chat box. Otherwise, you can call or text me. Um, you, you can send us an email to our, to our prayer team. They're standing by. All that information is at the bottom of your screen. If you're into Facebook, check into Facebook and, and let your friends know you're worshiping at Calmo Church online and then invite them to check us out so that we might be a blessing to them. Well, there'll be a longer set of announcements later on, but the highlights this week are we have fellowship on Sunday today uh, at 11.30 uh, using Facebook rooms, and then we have another uh, fellowship time on Friday morning at 9 o'clock. And if you're interested uh, in, in joining our online fellowship and, and not sure how to do it, reach out to us, uh, call, text, uh, the connection card, however you, you, f you feel comfortable, reach out to us and we'd love to have you uh, be able to connect with us. And we'd like to, to thank everyone for their support of God's ministries here at Calmo Church, uh, neighbors meeting neighbors, caring for our neighbors, and loving God and sharing the good news. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for your generous offerings and you can support God's ministries here at Calmo either by mail, by mailing a check to 1475 South Ionia Road, Vermontville, 49096. You can always set up an online bill pay set up with your own bank, or our website has that magic PayPal button. Any way you choose to support our ministry ministries, we thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, let us sing our closing song. Melody that he gave to 
Dare to Grow. Today we talked about how growth is necessary to be alive, to be fully alive. And as we grow in our relationship with God, we grow into peace and hope and joy. And then we can become beacons of peace and hope and joy for those around us. Open your heart so that when Jesus knocks on your door, he can support and encourage you to grow in peace and hope and true happiness. Now, next week, we're going to be starting a new series with a guest speaker, so stay tuned and take the Pentecost challenge and spend just five minutes or at least five minutes in prayer each day to talk with God and tell Him you want to be fully alive and to grow, to grow deep roots into God's love and build that intimate relationship with God that leads to that incredible peace and joy in our hearts and hope for the future. And then just take a moment and relax and reflect about your next step in that growth process. And then talk with God often. Do you want to learn more? Interested in connecting with Calmo Church? Fill out the Calmo Connection Card at calmochurch.org forward slash connect dash with dash Calamo. And we'll get in touch with you. And thank you for spending your morning with us today. And then check us out next week as we enjoy that guest speaker. Be safe, stay healthy, and may the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. May the grace and peace of Jesus Christ, which passes all human understanding, keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge of love of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, so that you might be a beacon of love and hope for others. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Bye for now. Bye. From Callum.